So today, uh, the point we are discussing, right? If you want to be data scientist, right? What are the prerequisites, right? As a beginner, what are you going to start? And what, right? Especially uh, the beginners, they're confusing that what we need to start to, uh, to learn the this data to become a data science. So first of all, right here, in data science, see, right, to reach this designation, right, to want to, if you want to work in this role, data science role, data scientist, you see this, in this data science world, there is a two words are there, data, uh, data and science. And here's the main important word here, science. The science means here, the logic, the logic of the problem, R&D of the problem, data cleaning, data extraction, data extraction, future engineering, all these responsibilities can involve that. And especially mathematics, mathematics, statistics, right? Numerical Python, a lot of things we are going to apply in this in terms of science. So here, if you want to go for this designation, this data science right profile. So the language is first one, Python or R language. These two are the first programming language, right, which we are using to write, working for the data science, especially in the machine learning, especially in the deep learning, in the artificial intelligence. You can select any one language, but I will recommend you the most of the companies using this language, that is a Python is highly using that most of the industries using this Python, especially I, I'm using this Python. Uh, we developed the more, like, more machine learning models and deep learning models. We deployed it also with the Python programming. We trained the model with the Python programming. We extract the data with the Python programming. We clean the data with Python programming, with the Python number NumPy, and with Python uh, right, uh, statistical formulas. We all written the logic with the Python. It is easy language, and it is a very flexible for that, right? According to my experience, Python is the best option for the to right? Python is the, one of the prerequisites for the data science. You know, that means for machine learning and deep learning. And uh, next one, especially the basic mathematics, right? Especially, right, statistics. Statistics is very, very important, right? This statistics, we are going to learn it first. Uh, we need to learn this Python's mathematics statistics. And this what we don't want depth statistics. What is the level of your machine learning? What is the level of your deep learning model? That level we are going to implement the different statistics right in the future engineering. So in the future engineering, the future engineering nothing but you are going to clean, you are going to extract the data, data cleaning and uh, right um, mathematical formulas. We are going to apply the data, and we we will give the, we will give the clean data to the model. That's why we are going to apply the statistics. So these are very important uh, prerequisites, right, uh, for data science designation. Then obviously we are going to, right, learn the models, right? This models, we are going to, we will learn these models. This model means whatever algorithms, models, algorithms. So this algorithm is very important because whatever the, clean data you done with the mathematics, with the statistics, with the Python programming, right? We are going to train the model with your uh, clean data set with a model. This algorithm you need to learn this. And you need to learn this every every model purpose, use as a model, and you need to do the some POCs, practice POCs, right? Before going to learn model all things, first you need to understand all these things, Python, right? <clears throat> so this is a very important point of view, right? Right, to learn to go for data science. And so I'll show you that end to end, right? Uh, or account to machine learning, how, what are the steps we are going to follow that? <clears throat> you see that this is the right exactly, 
right uh, <clears throat> the end to end of the right to when we, when i was when i was working that to buy models in my production all things see that now the step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 so this is what according to my experience i define this the step 1 data gathering step 2 data cleaning future extraction model client so here where we need the mathematics we need to apply where we need a statistics to apply yeah, especially in the step two step three right in this step two step two we are especially applying the mathematics statistics to clean the data right to extract the data right to apply this to, to right to give the cleaned data set to the right model for the training so after trying the model with your cleaned data then you can apply that the model is a give the if, if the model given the right uh, right good accuracy right means uh, above 70 percent prediction or above 70 percent accuracy you got it to whatever the prediction results you're expecting so that once your model is uh, okay for you then you can deploy to the <clears throat> right your server that application server either web logic either tomcat a web sphere the end of the day the model we are going to deploy the production so here in these five steps your main challenges, right? Your most of the time consuming in step two, step three. Step two, step three, a lot of time consuming because we are going to do the future engineering, right? With the, in the form of mathematics, in the form of stat statistics, in the form of data extraction, all this engineering process will apply in the step two, step three, right? That is a high time, or that is more time consuming for every data scientist. To train the model to get the result, that is, does not matter especially step two, step three. So in step two, step three, even visualization also, we can apply that. Visualization means when you clean the data to understand your quality of data, you can use the visualization, right, with the different uh, right uh, libraries, we can use that. So all, whatever the steps you're doing here, these five steps, everything you're going to follow that. If you uh, follow the Python API, Python coding. So if you, if you select the Python or if you select the R language, we wish, right? So. So these are the end-to-end -end, uh, right, machine learning right, where industry using that, right? That is a, my point. I'm going to explain that, right? So <clears throat> I think my information is uh, right, giving the clarity for you. If any question, right, please give, in the, please give me comments right, uh, in this video, right? Definitely, I'll clear, I'll clear all your, your doubts. I can give the best answer according to my knowledge, according to my experience, right? Thank you.